So I've given a wee demonstration as to how to do numerical long division and here's a wee chance to practice some of that. So I've got three questions here. I've got three questions on another slide and then some practice questions. So you can work ahead of me if you want or you can watch what I'm doing for a wee bit of a reminder. So these first three questions are the, the, the divisors are factors of um, the dividend so there will be no remainder. So you can either have a go at them all and then check my solutions or you can work through them with me. Okay. So the first question, uh, 338 divided by 13. So we're going to use a long uh, division method as I demonstrated. So if I just set that up nice and clearly. The meter you can be in all of this, the better. Uh, it goes without saying. Um, so we're dividing 338 by 13. So uh, we have a look at the uh, 3 obviously doesn't divide in equal uh, to 13. So we're going to take the first two digits, 33. You Some of the, the, the divisors uh, you'll be able to recognise quite quickly as some multiples, but as I kind of said in my explanation, Sometimes it is helpful just to think about some of the first few multiples uh, of the numbers. So we've got, you know, for instance, multiples of 13, just to get your head into it, um, are going to be things like that. Okay, so dividing uh, 13 into 33, that's obviously going to be 2 times. Um, so we've got 2 is my, I'll put a wee 2 here. There. Uh, and 2... Now what we do is rather than doing it in our head, we're going to multiply 2 by 13 to get 26 and we write the number down there. This is what the algorithm that you normally do mentally in your head. So then we write down 2 13s are 26, so the remainder is written actually written down rather than just done mentally. 33 subtract 26 is 7 and rather than write the wee 7 in front of the 8, we actually bring down the 8 to join the 7. So instead of moving the 7, we move the 8 and we've got 78. So again, we're wanting to think multiples of 13. Let go uh, up to 78. We're at 52, uh, 65. Oh, look, 78 is the multiple there. That's 6. So we can say here that that, that digit there is 6. We can check 6 times 13 is indeed 78. And if we subtract that, we should get 0. If you're uh, divisor there is a factor of the dividend, you will of course get a remainder of zero and therefore we can say that uh, 338 divided by 13 uh, is equal to 26. Okay, next one. Uh, so we've got my division step or bus stop in front. So uh, there we go. What have we got? We've got 27 and we're dividing that into 1,971. Uh, 27 times table, let's just kind of get my head around it. 27, double that, 54. Uh, add another 27, it's going to be 81. Then you can double 54 to get 108. It's quicker to get rather than add another 27. So there's a, there's a few to start with, right? So we've got uh, our first number is 1. Obviously, that's not good enough. We go along 19 is still smaller than 27, so we're actually going to have to take the first three digits, 197. Now, the thing about long division is that you can have an estimate. Okay, 27 is nearly 30, uh, and quite clearly there will be a bit at least six uh, 30s. It would be 180, so I'm going to guess six. Okay, so you could go uh, down there, you could keep adding 27, or you can guess. And if you're out, you can always fix it. So I'm going to guess... Um, 6 is my answer. Uh, 6 27s, 6 20s 120, 6 7s are 42, that gives me 162. The point being that if I do a subtraction here, as I do, and I get 35, you notice that there's still another lot of 27 there. So in other words, my guess was 1 out, and you can just quickly change it. It's not a big deal, that's one option. You might not like that idea, uh, but it is an option to just jump in at a number, 727s, 140, and 49 uh, is 189. So if I do that subtraction, I'm going to end up with 8 as my uh, remainder. Uh, and then bring down the next digit, which is the 1, 
0.81. So 27 divides into 81 three times, as I can see here. 327s are 81, and I've got 0 there. So my answer is, uh, as expected, uh, we've got an exact answer of 73. And last one, we've got 41 dividing into 6,000 and 847. So 41 uh, times table, 41, 82, 123, uh, 164. That was not too bad. Uh, because of the um, the fact that that's fair small digits, single digits. So there's I've got a wee start on. That's fine. Uh, you'll notice here that si I can start with 68. That's obviously going to give me one lot of 41. So remember, you don't have to do the mentally. 1 times 41 is 41. Subtraction. 8 subtract 1 is 7. 6 subtract 4 is 2. So uh, I'm going to bring down the next digit, and that's a 4. So I've got 274. My uh, uh, multiples of 41 don't go that far. I'm going to get 287 is the next one. So we can see that 274 uh, fits in between 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 lots. Okay, so we've got 6 lots is my answer. We've got 6. 6 times 41, as I've just seen there, is 246. Subtract that, uh, and we end up with, depending on how you want to do your subtraction, uh, we've got 8 here, we've got 0 here. So I've just got 8. Huh? No, it's not. I just That's a 6 there. Should be a 2. What am I doing? There's a 2. Just didn't read my own handwriting there, so be careful. So there's a 28, of course. And then lastly, what have we got? We've still got a 7 to bring down. So we've got 287, and if you notice, we've managed to get there on our multiples list. There, that's seven of them. Just check, seven times 41 is 287. Subtract, and sure enough, I've got a remainder of zero, and my answer is 167. Okay, so you can do some of that mentally, but uh, the whole point of this is we're, uh, we're learning the process of the, the algorithm so that when we bring algebra in, we're kind of familiar with it, okay? But it's a good little skill anyway. Right, here's another three. This time we're going to have remainders, which means our answers are going to be mixed numbers. We're going to put our remainders rather than just write R5. Like we're in primary school, we're going to put our, our remainder into a fraction so that our answers are long, um, a mixed number, okay? Again, you might want to pause it and work ahead, or you can watch me do one or more of these, okay? So, uh, same idea, we've got 17 we're dividing, oops, let's not do that, so we've got 17 uh, that we're dividing into 537, so we're doing 17 times table, I'm not going to write it down just now, I'm just going to approximate, so 17, I think it's about 3 uh, times is, I'm going to go for my first answer, so 3, 3 17s are 51. I'm going to write that down underneath and subtract. It gives me 2. I'm going to bring down the 7 to get 27. Well, obviously, it's 17 divides into 27 once. That gives me 17 to subtract. And a remainder of 10. 10, clearly, uh, we can't get any 17s out of. So that's my remainder. Okay, so the answer, uh, of course, we can express as a whole number quotient is 31 a remainder is 10 so we can write that as 10 17ths okay that's how we're going to do these ones uh, let's try the next one well, I'm just going to do while I'm going drawing lines I'll just do these both it does help if you can make your uh, work nice and clear uh, using rulers and, and uh, just taking the time to make sure it's as accurate as can be Space your digits out. That's always helpful. 23 into 3,229. Uh, we've got 32 there, so that's going to divide through uh, once. Put the 1 above the 32. 1 multiplied by 23 is 23. And the difference between those two is 9. 
bring down the next digit, which is a 5. 23 uh, divided into 95. I'm going to approximate it's about 4. Okay, so you don't need to write down a list of multiples. It just depends how kind of mentally adept you are at these things. Uh, 4 into 20, 4 times 23 is 92, so that's good. Your remainder, of course, should always be less than your divisor, 23. So a remainder of 3, that's fine. Bring down the 9, I've got 39. 23 divides into 39 one time. Just check that it's under 23. Of course it is. I've got 16. Uh, I can't do anything with that, that's my remainder. So I can... Uh, say that my answer is my quotient's 141 remainder 16 so it's 16 25 okay and the last one it's a little bit bigger 76,328 same process no consequence really so uh, I'm going to take 76 first of all 76 divided by 67 is 1 so subtract 1 lot of 67 from that I've got 9 bring down the 3 so I've got 93 again there's only going to be one lot of 67 out of that 1 times 67 is 67 and subtract from that I get 26 now I can bring down the 2 and that gives me 262 a little bit uh, bigger I'm thinking well 467 is going to be too big so I'm, I'm estimating 3 at the moment, three sevens are 21, and three sixes are 18, plus two is 20. Um, yeah, uh, now that's, yeah. Okay, so I've estimated wrongly. Of course, I've got 18 and 20. Do you notice that um, I've got uh, a remainder of 61? Now, rather than rubbing all that out, all I'm going to do um, is I'm going to change the three to a four, um, because I can. So change the 3 to a 4, there we go, and I'm just going to take away another, oh wait a minute, hang on, <laughs> right, okay, stop the bus, right, I was right, I don't know why I was wrong there, right, we've got a remainder of 61, we can't take another 67 out of it, so that's where we're stuck with that, right, bring down the 8, and that gives me 618, okay, now we're nearly at 670, which is 10 lots, so it, it looks like it's likely to be 9, okay? Uh, let's do a, a wee quick check. You can do it at the side if you want, or you can just do it within the, the calculation. Uh, 9 6s are 63, 9 7s uh, are 63, 9 6s are 54, plus the 6 is 603. Uh, let's do the quick calculation. It's a difference of 15, which is well, this time less than 67. A wee brain freeze for me earlier on. Uh, so my answer is 1,139 and 15 sixty-sevenths. Okay. Um, so that's how we do uh, long division, particularly when there's uh, non-zero remainders. When we've got a remainder there, just shove it into a mixed number at the moment. So uh, here's a screen. Uh, just knock yourselves out. There's as many as you want to do. Pick and choose if you want. Do them all. Um, all I'm going to do is you can pause it and then I'm just going to put the answers up. I'm not going to demonstrate them uh, and hopefully you can work out why. And of course, you can always just generate your own uh, questions as well. So you can pause this uh, uh, because I'm about to put the answers up. Okay, so there's all the answers. Some of them are uh, whole numbers, some of them are mixed numbers, but hopefully you can get the idea of numerical long division. Okay?